Good morning, boys and girls. Today, we are going to learn to draw a toucan, and then we're gonna paint it. So you just need a piece of paper. This is what it's gonna look like at the end. And the first thing that we're gonna start with is the eye. So we're going to draw a circle kind of near the top of our page, but not at the very, very top. And then you're going to draw another circle around that. Then in front of the eye, we're going to do a curved line and it's about three fingers long. And we're gonna turn that into the beak. So we want, now two cans have very large colorful beaks. So don't do this very small. It needs to go almost to the edge. So you're gonna curve down and then we're gonna connect it back here. So we're gonna go back like that. Kind of looks like half a banana. All right, then you're going to draw a line down the middle of your beak. Now on a toucan, the top part of the beak is bigger than the bottom part of the beak. All right, then what we're going to do is at the very top corner of the beak, we're gonna draw the middle part of, that's gonna be yellow on our, on our toucan. So we're gonna curve up over the eye and then down and it, it goes down almost to where the bottom of the beak is. Then we're going to draw from the bottom of the beak, we're gonna draw a bib and it, it's gonna come down, curve in, and then it curves back up to connect to where we stopped at the top. Now, toucans have black on the tops of their heads, so we're gonna start at that same spot and we're going to curve up around and in, but not all the way in, don't touch right there. You need to leave a little bit of space. Then his body is sticking out over here, so we're gonna curve around like this. And then we're gonna do the other side. So this side is like his tummy, and then over here, goes almost all the way down to the page, curves down like that. Now, notice I did not draw all the way together because we gotta put the legs in there and we don't want the lines to go through the legs. So on this first leg, we're gonna do two diagonal lines that go out. And then a bird has three toes, so one like this with a little claw on the end, one next to it. Now I'm running out of paper, so you might wanna do yours a little bit smaller. And then the other one goes back and connects. So it's two toes that go forward and one that goes back. Now this leg is kind of bent, not just straight out. So we're gonna do an L and then another L on top. And we do the two toes forward with the claw. Now this one, I did run out of paper right here. So this, if you run out of paper, just draw it off the end. Now they also have tail feathers. So we're gonna draw this line that goes down like this. And so these tail feathers, you can do that in there. These are the tail feathers. This is his body. All right, now to paint our toucan, we're gonna start with, we'll do the black last because we don't wanna mess up our, I, I'm gonna use watercolor. We don't wanna mess up our um, water. So we're gonna start with the yellow and we're gonna paint this whole thing yellow right here, this middle bib. Okay, and make sure that you get enough water so that you don't leave any white spaces. And I'm just gonna paint fast. You can take your time, and if I'm going too fast, you can pause it, paint yours, and then put it back on. So don't paint the eye, we're just gonna paint around the eye. Okay. all the way around the eye. Now, on top of this yellow, we're gonna paint some green. Now, we don't want it to be too dark, so we're gonna just use a lot of water, but we're gonna paint a circle of green around the eye. And it's okay if your yellow is still wet, because that's kind of cool when you mix the colors. And we're only doing the very top of this bib green. 
So don't paint the whole thing. We're just gonna do like around the eye. This part down here we wanna leave yellow. Okay, now we also want to paint a little strip, green and yellow, in his beak. Because they have colorful beaks. So what we're gonna do is this, from this bit to here, we're gonna make a diagonal line like that. There's our green, and then underneath here, this is where we're gonna paint our yellow. You're gonna blend it together. So just the top, or the bottom, sorry, the bottom beak is yellow and green. All right, and we're gonna take a little bit of green right along this edge. Just a little bit. All right. Now, around the edge, let's finish painting the beak. Okay, we're gonna use some orange. And the, they have an orange right across the top part of their beak here. It goes up, it's like a little hump. But not all the way to the end because the very tip of their beak is red. So we wanna put the orange in right here. And they actually have blue on their beaks as well. So this part right here under is blue. Goes all the way up to the green. And it's okay if it touches a little bit. And it kind of leaves a jaggedy line. And then this top part's blue. Oops, that's too much paint. If you get too much paint, you just rinse your brush spread it around. Okay, we don't want to paint over the green, we just want to go right up to the edge. Okay, and jaggedy on this end too, because the tip of the beak is going to be red. Okay, so we're going to move on to red because there's two places that we're going to do red. We're going to do red right around the edge of the of his bib. And it goes all the way around and only at the bottom, not up in the green part. It goes from this little and see how it's blooming out here. This is because my, my yellow is still um, wet and that's okay. We're just going to keep going around just a bit. Okay. And it's okay if you if it's a little jaggedy, because these are feathers, right? So the, the line doesn't need to be perfect here. Okay, so we're gonna just paint that in. All right, and we're gonna put red on the tip of the beak. All the way to the end, no white spots. Okay, now I'm gonna teach you a little trick. If you're using watercolors and you want the black to be very black, we are going to paint water around this circle, just water first. Then we're gonna put the black in and see how it kind of moves around. We just dot it in there and then we spread it around. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of black in the middle, but I wanna leave a little bit of a white dot because there's always a reflection and a little bit of a line like that, okay? See how I left the white in the middle? Now, we're gonna paint the rest of his body black. Okay, now if your black is turning gray, it means you have too much water. And if it's very black and leaving streaks, you don't have enough water. So we're gonna, you can also do this with crayon or marker if you don't have colored or watercolor. Okay, 
And then I'm going to paint down here. Okay, I'm not going to paint the legs yet. So I'm just going to paint around them. Because toucans actually have kind of blue legs. So we're going to wait and do that after we paint all the black. I'll paint the legs blue. And they go around like that. Okay, we're almost done here. Now, don't paint the tail yet because actually toucans have a little bit of red on their tail under underneath their little red feathers. Okay, so we're going to paint the feet blue or the legs blue. And it's okay if it's a little gray, blue, because you have black still on your paintbrush. But we're going to do blue legs and feet. Okay. We're going to just do a touch of red right here at the bottom of his tail and it's okay if the, it mixes in like that as the feathers kind of go up in there and along this edge just a little bit of red and then the rest of the tail feathers you're going to go back in with your black so don't paint over your red there because otherwise you won't be able to see it It's okay if the colors get a little muddy together, mixed together there. There's the tail. And I'm also going to paint the claws a little bit black because they are darker than. All right, now, if you don't like how this, if yours does this and you don't like it, we can go back with the yellow and paint over that and kind of blend it out. And I'm just going to blend out the liner. And also on the Toucan beak, you're going to take a very small amount of black and they have these like stripes they go like this they don't go all the way up but they are like three stripes on there and then you might want to draw paint in your black line but you can do this with a marker at the end when it's dry if you don't want to do it with the paint there you go looking good all right i can't wait to see your two cans when you post them in Flipgrid. I got a little bit of gray there. There you go, looking good. All right, that's the toucan.